Hey guys, and welcome to our channel. So if you are new here, my name is Sade, and um, I am one of the owners of Third Generation Conjure. So once again, if you are new, welcome, welcome. So for today's video, I wanted to come on and do some readings for the um, fall equinox, which is happening today. So happy fall, guys. Um, so for today, we're going to do the uh, sign of Capricorn. And um, make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising sign because things may resonate just a little bit differently. Um, all of the other signs are already posted on our channel. Um, I have two more coming up, which is Aquarius and Pisces, but we'll have those done shortly. So let's just pull some cards and see what the energy holds for those under the sign of Capricorn. All right, Capricorn, so we are back with your reading. So first we'll start with the present. So what are some things that may be going on in the present for those under this sign? We get the Page of Swords, the Hermit, and the Green Man. Okay, so first we'll start with the Page of Swords. So the Page of Swords represent things that happen suddenly, okay? It's a card of forceful type energy. Also, when you see the Page of Swords, this is something that brings change. So a lot of you may be undergoing some type of change in your life. And sometimes it can be uh, things that are unexpected. But also with the Page of Swords, this is kind of like a period where you may be... Um, just kind of blunt and forceful and kind of just telling it like it is. Also, when you see the Page of Swords, sometimes this can represent delays. And most of the time, these delays are necessary. Also, when you see this, um, be aware of those you surround yourself with because sometimes the page can uh, kind of be like a spy. With the Hermit behind this, this may be some things that have happened that have caused you to go into a period of solitude. You may just be feeling like you need to withdraw and that's okay. With the Hermit card, this is um, once again a card of solitude. It's a card of isolation. Also, if you have some things going on where um, it just seems like a lot is hap happening, this could also represent a period where you may need to seek some type of counseling, and that's okay. Um, also, this is the Hermit is also about kind of listening to your inner self, okay, and really getting in touch with yourself in this period, okay. This is also about um, seeking someone who may have more experience. Once again, we talked about that counseling aspect. So, you know, even if it comes to things as far as business or spiritual type things, this is a period for you to really seek someone who may have a little bit more knowledge and may be a little bit more advanced than you are in order to help you uh, in the future, okay? Then we get the Green Man card. So the Green Man is a card that deals with survival, okay, and renewal. So, you know, regardless of what you have been through in the present, it looks like you are overcoming it and you are able to overcome it. Also with the Green Man, once again, this is about uh, abundance and growth and prosperity. So that may be a focus for you, a lot of you under this sign right now, just uh, a period where you are focusing on your prosperity and your growth and abundance. Also, this is a time for you to really look to uh, nature as a teacher and also uh, really kind of ground with nature as Capricorn is an earth sign. So next we pulled on um, a focus. So what is a focus for you in this uh, season? We get the two of wands, the knight of cups, and the stag horn god. Okay, so first we'll start with the two of wands. So the two of wands deals with planning, okay? It's also a period um, where you may be focused on opportunities and seizing more opportunities. Also with the two of wands, this could represent things like travel. So this could even be uh, some type of move. This could be a physical move, uh, such as like relocation and residence. It could be a move that you take um, as far as a new career or a job. Um, also, um, new relationships, okay? So that's really going to be a focus for you to embrace the new this season. Um, this also is about you uh, fulfilling your potential. So if you have um, been sending on ideas or you're just not fulfilling your potential, this is going to be a focus for you within the season. We also get the Knight of Cups, and the Knight deals with offers and proposals. Once again, there's going to be a focus on um, keeping yourself open, open to new opportunities, okay? Also with the Knight of Cups, this could represent uh, relationships as well. So there may be a focus on further commitment within a relationship. Also make sure, once again, to pay attention to any type of offers that you are receiving um, throughout the fall, okay? Then we get the Stag Hong Guard. Stack horned God. Okay, overall, we know Capricorn is usually like the workhorse, um, usually focused on things like career and also earthly type things as it is an earth sign. Okay, with the um, stack horn God as a focus, this deals with um, 
abundance okay it's also a period of you really understanding cycles okay so the waxing and the waning of uh things especially as it deals with things within the material also this deals with um divine expression of masculine energy okay so this is really embracing your masculine um energy within this season okay um as capricorn is a more masculine type sign also um you know we talk about masculine and feminine energy, and this is not gender specific, okay? So with the um, <clears throat> masculine type energy, that's normally something that also is more um, material. So it looks like there's going to be a focus, once again, on things that have to do with the material, material type growth, um, abundance, and uh, money, and career and things of that nature. Um, also with this card, this deals with uh, protection, okay? So um, make sure that you are feeling safe as well. So it may be a time for you to really focus on things that have to do with the root chakra, okay? So whether that is like grounding exercises and work that deals with the root chakra. Um, also, this deals with, uh, once again, things like counselors, like we saw with the hermit. So really a time for you to uh, seek some guidance, okay? Um, you know, whether that is counseling mentally, physically, spiritually, uh, financially, okay? Kind of seeking people who have more experience and being able to learn and not really feeling like you know everything, but, you know, being open into learning new things, okay? This also deals with new ventures. So new ventures that you take, once again, being open to these new opportunities with this Knight of Cups. So this could be, once again, new ventures as far as new careers, new businesses, uh, things of that nature. Make sure that you are embracing this new type energy, okay? And not um, <clears throat> staying in like a complacent type energy because I know sometimes when we uh, feel safe, we don't elevate because we feel comfortable where we are, okay? So make sure that you're not, um, you know, just focusing on complacent type energy that you're open to new opportunities. Okay, so then we get the theme. So what is a the theme for those under this sign? We get the card of the devil, the magician, and the fire card. Okay, so the devil is you, Capricorn, okay? Capricorn is ruled by, um, in the traditional tarot, Capricorn represents, uh, the devil represents Capricorn, okay? And we talk about with the devil, you know, a lot of people look at it like, ooh, evil, but the devil deals once again with the material, okay? So as far as a theme, this is once again going to be a focus on things that have to do with the material. But also with the devil card, this could represent um, kind of like excess of different things. So make sure that you're not overly focused on the material that you neglect other aspects of yourself, such as uh, your physical and your spiritual. I mean, your, your spiritual, okay? Your spiritual and your emotional and things of that nature. When you see the devil card, this could also deal with toxic type attachments and relationships. So um, it's really going to be a period for you to kind of put things in perspective and try to eliminate those type of uh, attachments that you may have. Um, also, um, Right behind this, we get the card of the magician. So the magician is the alchemist. The alchemist manipulates his environment, okay? So um, really going to be a theme for you to manifest material things within your life, okay? Also, um, making sure that you focus on the energy and the thoughts that you are projecting because it seems like, um, as far as a the theme, these are like things that... Um, manifest rapidly okay so making sure that you keep that energy and those thoughts and things of that nature in perspective okay also with the magician card this could deal with a literal manipulator okay so you may have some manipulating type energy we saw this page of swords uh come up in the present which once again can represent uh like some upsetting news or could represent something like a spy so make sure that you um you know, keep an uh, eye on your circle that is around you and to avoid being easily led, okay? Listen, really listen to your intuition. If things are, you know, telling you, you know, not to tell your business to that particular person, then don't do it, okay? Really keep your eye open and um, making sure that uh, you are surrounding yourself with the right type of people and you're not surrounding yourself with these toxic type attachments. Also with the devil card, I do want to point this out. Sometimes this, this devil card can uh, rule things like uh, drugs and alcohol. So really uh, make sure that you are um, not doing things in excess, okay? Um, also, 
we get the fire card. So fire deals with transformation, but it also tells you, you know, once again, we talked about this being a focus on material abundance and with the devil card, this is like uh, material acquisition, wealth, power, things of that nature. But with the fire card, this tells you in order to get these things, you have to put in some type of work. It's not going to just fall out the sky and come. You can manifest all day with this magician card, but there's going to be a period for you to really put in the work. You know, when you look at things like manifestation, <clears throat> it's real, okay? You know, doing energy workings and uh, things of that nature, um, when you're working with like earthly spirits and spirits of the herbs, okay? Those things are real and they, they do help and they do manifest things for you and help you to manifest things. But also there's going to be action that is required on your part as well, okay? So, you know, you may be doing um, spiritual work for money, okay? And, you know, I tell people all the time, sometimes money doesn't come physically in your hand, but sometimes it comes in the form of an idea. It may come in the form of a connection that you may make, but it's going to be important for you to capitalize and actually do something with that opportunity that you're presented in order to bring that money and abundance uh, into your life, okay? Okay. All right, so then we get the, um, we pull just some challenges. So what are some challenges? Because just like, you know, we get advice and we want to hear good things, it's also important for us to be aware of challenges so we can learn how to get ahead of it, okay? We get the Knight of Swords, we get the Nine of Swords, and we get the card of Reincarnation. It's going to be really important for you to get some rest throughout this period, okay, Capricorn? Making sure that you are uh, getting nightly rest and you're not overworking yourself. Also with the Nine of Swords, this could represent uh, mental type anguish. So it could represent things like stress. So making sure that you are eliminating any type of... Um, external stress that you can, okay? Also with the Nine of Swords, this is like you excessively worrying and usually your worst fears are unlikely to materialize. We saw that with the magician that you're really going to have to keep a rein on your emotions and your thoughts, okay? Because your thoughts can manifest with this magician, but with the Nine of Swords, this is just like you excessively worrying for no reason. So if you are going through any kind of challenges or trials, you know, kind of keep your energy level, okay? I understand that we can't always be in a toxic, upbeat energy sometimes. Things happen in life, but also don't get stuck in this um, in this cycle, okay? Then we get the card of reincarnation. Once again, we talk about cycles. Don't get stuck in this Nine of Swords energy and this Nine of Swords cycle, okay? With the challenge for this, this is about trials, okay? And trials that are are, the purpose of it is to teach you a lesson. So it's going to be important for you to really learn those lessons. If you've been through some things in the past, especially as it deals with work, career, money, material type things, learn those lessons, okay? Um, you know, especially if things didn't turn out the way that you wanted them to, okay? You know, if you, if you know that you have a um, cycle where you lose jobs, figure out what is causing that cycle in order to not continue to repeat it because usually when we repeat cycles, it's because we haven't learned a particular lesson, okay? Then we get the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords deals with, uh, once again, this forceful type energy, okay? So this could also represent um, <clears throat> being impulsive, okay? Really um, acting before you really sit back and think. So make sure that you're not making impulsive decisions because that could be a challenge for you, Capricorn. Also, um, you know, the Knight of Swords is a card of action. So, you know, if you want this material abundance, it's going to be important that you really take action, okay, and you get to work and you're not just sitting there twiddling your thumbs waiting for things to kind of fall out the sky because that can be kind of a challenge for you within this season. Okay, so then next we pulled on some advice. So what is some advice for those under this side? Okay, so we get the Ace of Swords, the Nine of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the familiar spirit. Okay, so with the Ace of Swords, this represents a period of mental clarity. So it's really going to be important for you to um, really hone in on your uh, creativity within this period. Also, uh, once again, we talked about mental clarity. This is about your mental, so it's going to be important for you to really focus on your mental. You know, if you do need to do something as far as counseling with this Hermit card, this is telling you to go ahead and go for it. Whatever it is that's going to keep your mental clear um, and give you that clarity, this is what you need to focus on, okay? Also, um, capitalize on new ideas and not sit on those ideas, okay? 
Then we get the um, <clears throat> the Nine of Cups. So the Nine of Cups is the card of the Wish card. So this is a card of manifestation. Once again, really be um, paying attention to your energy with this Magician card because this is like your energy and your thoughts manifesting with this Ace of Swords. So um, really be particular about um, what you're speaking, what you're thinking, how you're acting, the energy that you are putting out, especially with this Reincarnation card. This is like the return of energy and things coming back quicker than you probably dish them out, okay? So also with the Nine of Cups, this is a focus on goals, okay? Achievement, manifestation, uh, things of that nature. So this is really going to be a focus for you this season to really kind of pursue those goals that um, you have been wanting to pursue. We get the King of Pentacles. Once again, this is the king. He represents the material, okay? Pentacles are money, material type uh, possessions, okay? The king, he's surrounded by wealth. He's surrounded by luxury, but he's also grounded. You know, we talk about, uh, I talked about the root chakra. The root chakra rules the material. So it's going to be important for this to be balanced in order for you to stay in the, um, you know, in the flow of energy for abundance, okay? Also, the uh, King of Pentacles, once again, deals with stability. It deals with longevity. So really a uh, period for you to focus on things that are long-term and that's going to bring you long-term growth versus just kind of here and now, fly-by-night type things. We get the Familiar Spirit, and this is about middle connection, okay? The Familiar Spirit is about a meeting point. So once again... We got the hermit, which is the professional, okay? So there are going to be possibly some things that you cannot do on your own. And this is going to uh, require you to find someone who has closer ties than you do, especially as it relates to the spiritual, okay? I understand and I teach people all the time about manifesting for, the, for themselves, okay? And also... Um, you know, doing spiritual work for themselves. But sometimes you have people that are closer to or have a better relationship with source than maybe you do, especially if you're new coming in or you just like, I sometimes take a cleanse. I sometimes light a candle, but I don't do this every day. Sometimes you may just have to hire somebody to do that for you. Okay. So this is kind of telling you that, especially if you notice that maybe, um, you know, I've got somebody to, I got a certain practitioner that I use and, you know, when they light a candle or do something for me, it pops off. But when I do it, I don't see as much results. Okay. And that's not to, you know, say that you're not, you don't have the ability to do it, but sometimes you just got to find somebody who this is what they do and they have a closer connection with it. And, you know, okay. And that is, Totally okay, guys. I want y'all to understand that. But also, you know, even not in a spiritual sense, you know, we talked about um, someone who's a professional. You even see that with the King of Pentacles. This is really finding someone who can help you, okay, that's more um, advanced than you, okay? Even if that's in a, um, a job or career type setting, you know, you don't want to be surrounded in a room of people who... Um, don't have more knowledge than you. You always want to be with people who have more knowledge than you so you can learn something and it can help you elevate, okay? Because if you are the smartest person in the room, then you're not going to learn anything else. All right, so then um, we get some outcomes. So what are some outcomes that those under this sign can expect? We get the Eight of Wands, we get the Knight of Wands, we get the Four of Wands, and we get the Reed. Okay, so with the Knight of with the Eight of Wands, I'm sorry, this is a card of action. So um, you may be on the go a lot within this season, whether you are traveling or whether you're just really, really busy. But it seems to be a really busy period for those under the sign of Capricorn. Okay, because the Eight of Wands is the energy of speed, like being on the go, doing things, just kind of go, go, go. It's a uh, season of action for you, and not really uh, sitting on your behind, but really putting in the work. With the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Wands is a card of change, okay? So things that are rapidly changing within your life. Also, the Knight brings uh, new opportunities, okay? Especially on the career front. Um, <clears throat> the Knight of Wands, once again, Wands represent action, uh, as we saw with the Eight of Wands as well. Then we get the Four of Wands. So your, your cards are all Wands in this uh, type of fast-moving type energy. With the Four of Wands, this represents a period where... Um, you know, there's something to celebrate, okay? Normally, when you see the four of wands, this is like some type of achievement or accomplishment. And this could represent things like, um, you know, some type of certification. It could represent a degree. It could represent a uh, new job or something that 
is coming with some type of celebration. Also, the Four of Wands deals with the home. So you may be spending a lot of time at home, particularly possibly working. Also, uh, this could represent like property, you know, buying a house, uh, doing some renovations on your home, whether that is personal or business, okay? Then we get the card of the Reed. So the Reed deals with our ethics and our integrity. And this also is a card of self-examination. So a lot of you under the sign are really going to be going through a period of self-examination, okay? Um, it's also going to be a period uh, for you to really focus on your ethics and integrity and not do things in a shysty type manner because, it's going to come right back to you, okay? So whatever you dish out is coming right back. So your karma is going to be very, very quick this season. So it's going to be important that you um, stay on the up and up and that you remain ethical in your dealings, um, whether those are in your relationships or whether that's in your career, okay? Well, Capricorn Corn, I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and like and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, guys, bye-bye.